welcome kindred spirits to a place of positivity, passion, and purpose. Welcome to another exciting video where we'll be shedding light on August Provert Vuri. August Provert Vuri, pseudonym of Vuri Provost, January 21, August 5, 1930, was a French painter known for pastoral landscapes. He was the father and teacher of the landscape painter and Provert Vuri 1890-1957. In the following segment, we'll be examining early career in greater detail. The birth record of the Provost states that he was born in the town of villeneuve sayon the son of Elizabeth Provost, a domestic worker. No father was recorded. Little is known about his life until he moved to Paris and became a pupil of the sculptor. He first exhibited at the annual Paris Salon in 1882 as a sculptor listed in the program as Vuri Provert with no letter S in his last name. In 1883 he again exhibited a sculpture and was listed as August Provert Vuri, the name he used from that time onward, signing his works Provert Vuri, sometimes using all capitals and sometimes a more stylized script. At the end of 1883 he exhibited paintings in the Exposition de Junes Artistes he was 26. The reviewer in Journal de Artistes described him as a painter of abundant talent who had not yet found his meteor. Provert Bury stops us and surprises us artist has real talent but how is it that he treats landscape in such disparate ways we saw first a small, delightful landscape, petty Ruissi Villiers, like Cabot but with more clarity. In any case, strongly, beautifully painted effort du Sawyer surprised us. A vague, purplish landscape, barely touched. One would have said Jules Breton. Then Les Buffs Dans and Chemin grew in yet another key, darker and more serious. All this is very well separately, filled with talent, but in which of these paintings do we find the real profit for e? In the programme for the 1884 Paris Salon, he was listed as a pupil of the renowned landscape painter Antoine Guillemet and exhibited both sculpture a a medallion portrait of Sarah Bernhardt, who owned the piece and the landscape, La Ruissie de Villiers. In 1885 he moved from Boulevard Malechevis, 69, to Rue Aumont Thauville, 6, an address he was to keep for the rest of his life. The street was only a block long. The long building with Provert Vary's atelier was also home to numerous other artists, including J. M. Barnsley, George Wharton Edwards, and Joseph de Lonziri. The building still stands, and from the street can be seen the large, high windows that make its rooms ideal for artists' studios. In the programme for the Paris Salon of 1887, Jules Lefebvre was listed for the first time as one of Provert Vary's teachers. Like a number of other artists, he was drawn to the pastoral and riparian landscapes around the town of villiers sur morin where his circle included and placards on a self-guided walk in the town note the locations where he painted Le Clos Monsieur saint etman 1898 and Le Fond du villiers sur morin Brace yourselves for the next chapter, where we'll be dissecting father and son career success. 1890 saw the birth of his son and a who under the tutelage of his father and sharing the same studio, would also become a landscape painter of note, though in a style strikingly different from that of his father. Andrew also took instruction from Marcel Bachet, Henry Royer, and Louis Marie de Sir Lucas. In 1896, Alphonse James de Rothschild purchased his painting Les Autumn da Martin and donated it to the in Saint Quentin. The painting is now missing. In 1898, Rothschild purchased the Sawyer, O Mesnel Saint et Marne, and donated it to the. In 1900, Rothschild purchased Les Mauls, Crepuscle, and donated it to the Muster Bagus. The painting was destroyed by warfare in 1940. At the exposition Universel of 1900, Provert Fury exhibited Le Clos Monsieur Saint et Marne and was awarded a bronze medal. In 1908, for his painting Retour Ohema, he was awarded the, named for the great French painter of animals, Rosa Bonheur. The award cemented his reputation as a pre-eminent painter of pastoral landscapes, particularly scenes of shepherds and sheep. The painting was purchased by Baron Edmund de Rothschild, who donated it to the Mastibo Arts de Dijon. Twenty years later, 
in 1928, Provert Vary saw the same award bestowed on his son Ander. In 1908 his work was shown at the Franco-British Exhibition in London, in 1910 at the Exposition Internacional del Centenario in Buenos Aires, and in 1911 at the Exposición Internacional de Roma. Beginning with Andre's debut at the Paris Salon of 1910, there were a number of years when both father and son exhibited works. The collector and critic G. Manin compared and contrasted their works at the Salon of 1920, suggesting that each influenced the other. August Prevert Valeri has singularly transformed his style since last year. It seems that his maturity is emancipating. He liked lonely expanses, the fine grey of dimmed lights, the softness of the end of day muffled with silence. Today with his trooper, even more than with his mountains downs less greaves, he is making a big noise, knowing only violent effects, heavy strokes, brutally struck correct is only the process that differs, the skill remains the same and a prevot Valeri paints like his father in a heavy manner, but has a greater feeling of light light constitutes the greatest attraction of his passages, where the girl watches over her white geese in the fiery atmosphere. The delicacy of the eye and the sincerity of the impression are, in the sun, superior to the mitia. In 1923, Magnin praised the continuing evolution of the elder Provet Thorey's work. If the hand grows heavy, the vision grows wider and more powerful a poetry not banal but melancholy and virile. Father and son exhibited together for the final time at the Paris Salon that opened April 30, 1930. The two paintings by August were entitled Tropie Bouvant and Laurent. On August 5, 1930, after a career spanning almost five decades, August Provert Vary died in Joyard, France, at the age of 73. Without wasting any more time, let's jump into the fascinating world of in museums and public buildings. Provet Vary's works are held by a number of collections in France C. Coulomiers, Seine et Marne, Mary Town Hall, Marc O. Vaux. Coulomiers, Seine et Marne, Charles Bervier, Wards du Morin Paris Salon 1891, Dijon, Must de Beaux Arts, Retour Ohama Paris Salon 1908, Nancy, Must de Beaux Arts, Cote de Montbrieu, Seine et Marne Paris Salon 1894, Paris, Petit Palais, Debordement du Morin Paris Salon 1901, Saint Omer, Chemin de Pommel, La Soya Paris Salon 1901, Toulon, La Soya, Omesnel Saint et Marne Paris Salon 1898. Share this video with your friends and spread the knowledge.